we find the center of gravity of an arc of the car x to the power 2 by 3 plus y to the power 4 by 3 this is equal to a to the power 2 by 3 lying in the first quadrant right we know that this is an asteroid asteroid and the rough sketch if we draw here of asteroid this curve is look like this okay this is the rough sketch of asteroid and this point are a0 this is we let this is a and this point is b 0 a and this is c this is minus a 0 and this is d this is 0 minus a right this is the asteroid and here we have to find the center of gravity of this arc the arc a b because this arc lies in the first quadrant we first consider an elementary arc. Let this is the elementary arc of the asteroid at the point P. This is x, y. And let the elementary arc is ds. Okay. Since this is arc, so it is ds. Now we know that ds whole square this is equal to dx square plus dy square this is well known formula or well known relation of differential calculus and from this relation we can write dx sorry ds by dx this is equal to 1 plus dy dx whole square okay we use this relation for solving this type of problem. Now let coordinate of CG be x bar y bar and to find x bar we get x bar this is equal to the formula is given by x equal to 0 to a and in the lower integration this is x equal to 0 to a. Okay. And this is the point P. So the distance of P from y axis, this is equal to x, and distance from x axis, this is equal to y. Okay. And to find x bar, x bar, we write here, this is, we write first distance, this is x, this is from y axis and the elementary arc ds into rho okay and rho with the density of the material by which the arc of the asteroid met clear and in the lower integration only we write rho into ds because here elementary mass element dm this is equal to ds into rho. Clear? In the upper integration, this is dm into x, distance into mass element, and in the lower integration, to find the total mass, we write here rho into ds. And this is given by, we cancel out rho from both, because rho is a constant, and we write here integration 0 to a x ds ds by dx into dx and for the lower term this is also 0 to a this is ds by dx into dx now put the value of dx by ds also dx by ds from here we get this is integration 0 to a x into root under 1 plus dy dx whole square into dx and also for the lower integration 0 to a root under 1 plus dy dx whole square into dx.
this. Now from the path we find out the value of dy dx and differentiating this we get 2 third into x to the power minus 1 third plus 2 third into y to the power minus 1 third into dy dx this is equal to 0. So we get dy dx dy dx this is equal to minus uh, this is uh, we write y by x equal to the power 1 third okay dy dx this is equal to minus y by x equal to the power 1 third now if we calculate the value of this from here we get root under 1 plus if we put minus y by x equal to the power 1 third then we get y by x equal to the power 2 third and this is root under x to the power 2 third plus y to the power 2 third by x to the power 2 third and this is given by a to the power 2 third by x to the power 2 third whole root this is a to the power 1 third by x to the power 1 third okay this is the value of dx ds dx and we put directly here this is 0 to a x into this is a to the power 1 third by x to the power 1 third into dx by integration 0 to a this is also a to the power 1 third by x to the power 1 third dx and this is if we cancel out a to the power 1 third from both the integration and we get the upper integration is 0 to a this is x to the power 1 minus 1 third dx by integration 0 to a x to the power minus 1 third dx right so this gives x to the power 2 third plus 1 the integration is 0 to a and this is 3 by 5 by the lower for the lower term we get x to the power minus 1 third plus 1 this is 2 third and we multiply here 2 by 3 ok because uh, this is 2 by 3 so sorry this is 3 by 3 by 3 and also the range is 0 to a and by putting the range we get this is 3 3 cancel out and so 2 by 5 and into for the upper portion we get x to the power 5 by 3 and for the lower portion we get sorry this is a to the power and this is also a to the power 2 by 3 and this is 2 by 5 into a to the power a to the power 5 by 3 minus 2 by 3 this is a so we get here x bar x bar this is equal to 2a by 5 okay we get the first result of g that is x bar now for the y bar we write the integration as y bar this is integration x this is equal to 0 to a and for the lower integration this is similar x this is equal to 0 to a now here we write the distance y this is y and the mass element this is rho into ds and for the lower integration this is only mass element rho into ds okay and rho rho cancel out and similarly we reach at the position this so we get this is integration 0 to a this is y into root under 1 plus dy dx whole square dx and for the lower integration this is integration 0 to a this is root under 1 plus dy dx whole square dx right and in similar manner by this calculation we put the value of this function 
so we directly write the integration 0 to a this is y into and also here we put the value of y from the curve and it is clear that the value of y is y to the power 2 third this is equal to a to the power 2 third minus h to the power 2 third and the value of y is this is 3 by 2 ok so we put for a to the power 2 third minus x to the power 2 third 2 the power 3 by 2 in we put this value this is a to the power 1 third by x to the power 1 third by integration 0 to a this is only a to the power 1 third by x to the power 1 third dx here also a dx ok we cancel out a to the power 1 third a to the power 1 third because this to a constant ok now to integrate this term we put here x this is equal to a a sin q theta ok put x equal to a sin q theta then we get dx this is equal to 3a sin square theta cos theta d theta and for the upper integration we get a to the power 2 third minus x to the power 2 third to the power 3 by 2 this is equal to if we put here x equal to a cos u theta then we get a to the power 2 third minus a to the power 2 third into sin square theta whole to the power 3 by 2 and this is a into cos q theta ok now put the value of this and also by changing the range from x to theta clearly x is 0 and x is a then theta is 0 and theta is pi by 2 and the integration becomes 0 to pi by 2 and this is a cos q theta this term and from here we get 1 by put x equal to a sin q theta and that is a to the power 1 third into into sin theta and put the value of dx this is given by 3a sin square theta cos theta d theta ok and we integrate the lower term easily because this is only x and this is dx so integrating we get the lower term is 3 by 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 and the range is 0 to a ok now from the upper term we get this is y bar we write here and this is integration 0 to pi by 2 and from here we get 3 a square 3 a square by a to the power 1 third a to the power 1 third into cos to the power 4 cos to the power 4 theta into sin theta d theta and from the lower term we get 3 by 2 and this is a to the power 3 by 2 calculating this term we get 2 into a into integration 0 to pi by 2 and this is cos to the power 4 theta into sin theta d theta we write this is sin to the power 1 theta now we use the formula of gamma function this is 2a into gamma p plus 1 by 2 this is 4 plus 1 by 2 into gamma q plus 1 by 2 so this is 1 plus 1 by 2 
by 2 into gamma p plus q plus 2 by 2. That is 4 plus 1 plus 2 by 2. Okay. So 2a into gamma 5 by 2 into gamma 2 by 2 by 2 into gamma 7 by 2. And we put here an important formula. This gives, this gives, sorry, this is the formula gamma n, this is equal to n minus 1, gamma n minus 1. We use here. So, 2a into gamma 5 by 2 and also this is gamma 1. Gamma 1 means 1 minus 1 factorial. So, 0 factorial that is 1. So, this is 1 by 2 into 2 into 5 by 2 gamma 5 by 2. And gamma 5 by 2, gamma 5 by 2 cancel out. 2, 2 cancel out. So, we get the result as 2a by 5. As we get the first result x bar. So, we get here y bar also 2a by 5. Okay. So, the cg, cg is given by, is given by g x bar y bar this is equal to 2a by 5 or 2a by 5 okay this is very very important problem and this is from Bakura University previous year question paper thank you thank you for watching